Alrighty, welcome back guys. We are here at BCIT. Literally the school that I went to and that's the building where I took most of my courses for construction management. Anyways, today there are lots of food trucks here and we're gonna check them out, see what kind of foods they have, what they have to offer, and hopefully it's gonna be amazing. How much is it per box? $15. $15 for one box and then all proceeds go to our provincials. Okay, cool. What do you guys play? Uh, track and field. I do javelin nice. and he's a uh, discus runner. And cool. Discus runner. Is it fresh donuts? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this right, morning man. we picked them up at around 11 o'clock. Cool. That's yes. good. Okay, Dude, do you want... to change right now. Change? Yeah, yeah please. And, uh, do you want two dozen or one dozen? Just one's fine. Okay. Thanks, bro. Thank you so much. Come on. Look at those guys. All right, we're gonna have to give them a try now. All right, here's the box. Oh, about 15 bucks, uh, pretty cheap. I guess like about two bucks per piece. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Um, What's up? Is it a YouTube video? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll check you out. What's YouTube? What street is this? Commercial line? Oh, 49th? Uh, 49th. So they're on commercial and 49th. If you guys want to stop by, support the team, grab some donuts. Really good. They're pretty fresh too. Yeah, of course. Good donuts. By the way, happy Mother's Day to any mothers that are, might be watching this. Let's go see what we can find here. Alright, we'll start right here. Uh, sushi tacos. Beaver tails. These are like uh, kind of like a waffle. Hello, how are you? Lots of friendly faces out today. What is this? Ooh, that looks good. Hello. Ice cream place. Looks like a Mediterranean place. Oh, Brazilian food. Close enough. Uh, mac and cheese. Barbecue truck. Let's look at the menu. Oh, Jamaican food truck. I might have to make a stop here, guys. Let's look at the menu. Hello. Yeah, it looks good. I love jerk chicken. Oxtail. I have sunscreen in there. Caillou grill. This is like a Japanese grill type of hybrid. Looks like grilled cheese sandwiches.
mochi sandwiches. Oh, look at that. That looks really good. G's going there. Going there shop. Might have to make a stop here. Lots of options. And fresh squeezed lemonade. Street dogs. Can't get too close to that one because they're playing uh, copyrighted music. So I'll just skip that one for now. But it is a donut donut truck. Twisted potatoes. So it's like the hurricane uh, potatoes with different toppings. Look at this place. It's like desserts. Oh, okay. Oh, same truck as yesterday. So if you guys watched the video from yesterday at Lonzo Key, the same uh, food truck was there. Chickpea plant bake, so it's like a vegetarian, maybe vegan option. Fresh cut fries. Let's look at some of the stalls here. Hello. Oh, nice earrings. Do you make these? I do. I make wow. Them all. What's your company name? It is my company. Oh, Naughty Work Designs. Naughty Work Designs. That's their Instagram if you guys want to look for more. Cheers. Some hair bands and some cool stuff. Candles. It's very cool, kind of like the night market we went to last night in North Vancouver. Or the shipyards market, I guess. It wasn't quite a night market because it was a night, but. Ooh, these look good. Hello. Hello. Do you make these? Uh, no, my friend does. So Your friend does. This morning in Delta. Nice. Yeah. All right, we might make a stop back here. Thank you. Good. Bye. Bye. Very friendly person. What is here? Ah, uh, looks like candles. Hello. Do you make these? Yeah, we handmade everything. Last handmade. Time. Wow. What's your company's name? Oh, this one. Alpha Studio. So if you guys want to find out more, that's their Instagram. Thank you. Ah, uh, sauces. So is it just sauce? Yeah, it's called yeah. Okay, sure. Is that the, what you recommend? Personally, yeah. I like it. It has a nice sweetness with a little bit of a kick. All right. It's made from fresh Okanagan food. made right here in BC. Made right here in BC. All right, let's give it a try, guys. Wow. Very good. You guys want to get sauce with the best food? What's in it? Yeah. Uh, this one has... Sorry. That's nice. Was that the Chipotle barbecue? Uh, cherry, cherry barbecue. Cherry barbecue? Yeah. Oh wow, very good. So the, what's in it? The first ingredient is fresh cherries oh, from the Okanagan. And then it also has um, uh, brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, and spices. And you make all of them? Yeah, we make them all wow. in, uh, in our kitchen in the Okanagan. What's your company's name? Slow Bottle Sunday. Oh, so Slow Bottle Sunday. Yeah, right here. Alright, you guys look them up if you want some more. Thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, I'm probably grab some food then I'll come back then. <laughs>
Alright, uh, some jewelry. Hello. How are you? Got more goodies here. Nice and sweet. Hello. Were you at Lazo Key yesterday? Uh, my, my staff was. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. That's where I saw this stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you guys look at the puppy. Looks like harnesses, leashes. You guys make them? We design them. You design them. Okay, cool. Look at the puppy future here. Puppy. Ah, oh, it's too shy. So cute. Oh, wow, nice. Very cool. Some more. Some more things. Looks like some jewelry. Oh, cool. Very cool. And of course, a little sitting area to enjoy. Oh, barbecue truck here. How much was that? Look at this. 21. 21. You guys. Alright, thank you. I really do want to get something from this Jamaican place. Yeah, I kind of want to do a wrap. Also, that uh, Tokyo Katsu San, which is like I think it's like sandwiches with like a hint of Japanese stuff so there was like a Wagyu sandwich so I think that looks pretty promising guys I think I should go for that one I don't want to overeat and get a bunch of stuff but I, I could probably get one item at probably every truck here and but yeah we're not gonna do that we're not gonna go too crazy and uh, let's try this Ah, so it's not actual Wagyu, it's a Canadian strip loin. It's not actual Wagyu strip loin. Unless I'm making them right there. I kind of wanted, uh, I thought it was Wagyu, so I was like really excited for that. Especially because it was only like 16 bucks for the sandwich. You don't typically get Wagyu for that cheap, but yeah, it kind of makes sense. It's Canadian strip wine. But I think I'm going to go for the jerk chicken sandwich over here, guys. I love Jamaican food. It is. My buddy Simon, shout out to Simon. He took me there once. And I fell in love with Jamaican food, man. Oxtail, jerk chicken, snapper, fried snapper. The rice, ooh, man, it is so good. I think we'll go with the jerk chicken wrap. Should we do that one? Should I order here? Over here? She's busy. How you doing? <laughs> Can I get a, what's the difference between the burrito and the wraps? The, uh, the burrito has rice in it. Oh nice, okay. Can I get a jerk chicken burrito please? Yep. That's what I want. Just a wrap, oh yeah, the burrito. Alright, okay. so This is their food truck. It's called just jerking around, which is hilarious. <laughs> That's awesome. 
The truck is way too tall, otherwise I would try to get some footage of how they make it. Thank you very much. Let's see, maybe I can... take a few minutes I don't know if I can hold up the camera for that long All right, let's see if we can see from the side how you doing boss I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. preparing some fresh ingredients hard filming uh, the food with like a food truck because there's so much higher and also uh, it's not like when you go to a street food market or something in uh, Asia you know different process not as uh, eh, you know different Surprisingly, this place isn't busy at all. And it's like probably like 25 food trucks, and maybe like 12 vendors selling other things. Ah, there's our burrito. Thank you very much. All right, let's go give this a taste test. See how it is. Well, that place doesn't look bad at all either. Ooh. It's getting hot here in Vancouver, man. I just just escaped the heat from Bangkok, and now here is just getting hot too. Let's see if we can find a seat. Yeah, kind of busy there. So that's the burrito, nothing fancy, just uh, not a huge burrito either, just like a, you know, small one, medium, yeah, I would say it's a smaller one, but they do gotta make uh, make some money, so no, no shade on them. Let's give it a taste test. It's really good. Portion is kind of small, but it tastes really good. There's, uh, of course, like she mentioned, chicken, rice, a little bit of carrots, a little bit of cabbage. <clears throat> Some kind of sauce. Obviously, if you're looking for a value meal, you wouldn't be looking for it out here, but... Yeah, 
uh, if you wanted something cheap, you could go to Chipotle. It was more like a unique. And of course, when they're on a food truck, expenses are much higher, so they have to price things a bit higher. It is what it is. Fair game. There's definitely a good amount of uh, protein. Although it's not like huge, but there's a good amount of chicken in there. I think we could go for one more item. We'll look around, we'll try to find something unique. Just like the jerk chicken burrito. But we'll go out and have a look. Give me a second, let me smash this, finish it up, and we'll get out there. There's some people here filming. It's crazy, I used to uh, do the same thing, carry a huge camera with a gimbal microphone and all that stuff and I replaced it all with just this one camera that does it all in just one and it's like maybe one third of the uh, size of my phone so it's very convenient especially when I go traveling it's the best I use it a lot in Thailand we'll use it a lot more in uh, Vietnam so stay tuned you gotta get one of these man I figured it out. This place is uh, selling Filipino food. But I think what I'll do for our uh, unique meal, let's go to Nori Tacos. It's like a mix between Japanese and Mexican. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, chicken kroge. How you doing? Can I get a chicken kroge? That's it, man. Thank you. How much is it? Forty uh, seventy. Seventy? Oh. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think that's the one we're gonna get there. It looks pretty promising, so stay tuned and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's ready and also how it tastes. I'll let you guys know that for sure. Huh? Oh, I only ordered one. Chicken croggy, right? Chicken croggy? Yeah, just one. Just one. Alright, got it right here. I think I'll just go by the bike and eat over there. It's, it's getting quite loud here. I'll give it a taste test real quick. Alright, here we go. We're at the bike. With the new tires. Okay, so the entire thing is like... There's like tempura batter, tempura batter, tempura batter. There's the chicken karage, that's obviously covered in batter. There's some rice, cucumber, and spicy mayo, and uh, some scallion on top. So, sorry for the poor feeling, but I'm just, just standing here and like trying to try this out. So.
was really good. Much better than I expected, actually. thing I can say is I wish I had put the rice on the sides rather than all at the bottom so when you bu like bite into it you get a bite of everything now you gotta take like two bites one from the top and one from the bottom so you can um, have everything in one bite The nori, or the seaweed, or the sushi wrap, it's so good. I could eat a bunch of those just by itself. It tastes like a sushi roll, like a karagi sushi roll that's been deep fried, but it's kind of nice having it as like a shape of a taco. It's kind of big. Of course, you're paying a bit of a premium, like I said earlier, but it is what it is. Like in Bangkok, with 30, 40 bucks, you could be eating all night. Here, that's only two items. No comments, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, people gotta make money. Much more expensive out here, but. Just for you guys to know. But it is very good, guys. And again, it's called Nori, Taco Nori. So. That's it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe for more videos. I would really appreciate that. Until the next time, ciao.